Okay, here's a quick video on how to use the Cheer Music Player app. Let's get the app up. This is an and this is on an Android phone. Choose the app. First screen we get to, we got three selections: add songs, practice mode, competition mode. Let's go ahead and add a song. You can add all your songs. These are what is on my device here. Just list everything that's on the actual phone or device. You can add all of them, deselect all of them, or add them one at a time. Let's do a few like that. Save. Okay, let's go into practice mode. Okay, this screen is where all, uh, where, uh, all the magic happens, I guess. Here you got a slider up here that's very familiar. You've got your play pause button, which is right here in the middle. And here is your playlist. If you don't like all the songs that are in your playlist, you can go back and add a song, or you can delete them from here. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and add a song to the playlist. There we go. Hit the play button. Let's turn it down just a little bit. Okay, hit pause. In the practice mode, this is practice mode, you can move the track, move the slider anywhere you want the song to start. Not only can you do it, not only can you do it when it's paused, but you can also do it when it's played. Okay, and this is what happens when it gets to the end of the track. Okay, the tracks, the song resets to zero, goes back to the beginning, but it does not load a new track. You, you have to do that. It's, let's go ahead and load another track. Hit play. Okay. First, right now, let's give a big shout out to MyRemix.com for letting us use actual cheer mixes for the cheer music player. For this video so thanks to them if you need cheer music just go check them out myremix.com all right let's go back so competition mode is the other mode okay let's go into competition mode the first thing it's going to do is ask you to put your phone in airplane mode and raise your volume up to 100 percent next you're going to pick a song and hit play Turn it down just a little bit. Okay, so notice that I can now move my slider as long as it's paused, just like in practice mode. However, in play mode, you can't move the slider. Okay, so the only time you can move your slider around is when you're in pause or pause mode. Same thing happens when you get to the end. It stops, resets to zero, and you can load a new track. Push play, and it does. All right, you notice that every time I hit the play button, the color, change, the color changes on the slider, just lets you know the music's going. Also, one other thing, if you notice when you're on this screen or in practice mode or competition mode, the screen will not dim, it doesn't darken, it doesn't go away, and it doesn't lock. So very helpful when you're in competition and you're waiting for your turn. You can always have your music queued up and ready to go. Okay, let's go into the settings page. Here you can control the volume. You also have a Facebook feature where you can post things to your Facebook page right from inside the app. It's very handy, very cool. Check that out. Also has feedback. This is the feedback feature. This one's very important. Not only can you send emails directly to the developer about problems with the app, but you can also send them requests of features you would like to see in the app. So things that would be uh, make this app better for you they're going to be doing updates throughout the year, so get on here, use the feedback function, and send them the features, send them the ideas that you want and you think this app should do. 
Okay, that was a quick video on how to use the Cheer Music Player app. Thanks.